Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Premiere Pro. Today, we're going to tackle a very useful command, which is shadows and highlights. The truth is that when shooting footage, it's often very difficult to get the proper contrast range, but the shadows highlights command can easily fix this. Here's how it works. I've got a clip here that's pretty good shape, but the truth is, is that we've got really hard contrast issues. We've got dark skin tones and bright skin tones and just an overall sort of darkening of the image. What we did here is we shot a little underexposed so that the sky wouldn't blow out. And in post, easy to fix. Here's how. In the effects search field, let's just type the word shadow and you see there's shadow highlight. And I could drag that on the clip. Now, by default, it overdoes it. And pretty much the default starting preset is way too much, but it's easy to fix. Let's just expand this here and twirl down so we could see the controls. And I'm going to undo the auto amounts. And if we look at this here, we see shadow amount and highlight amount. By default, the shadows are boosted 50. Let's take that back down a little bit to about 25. And next, adjust the shadow tonal width. You see here that right now, the darkest half of the image is being treated as a shadow. Hence, it's set to 50. I'm going to back that off a bit. By pulling that down, we'll go after a less aggressive area. So you see there, we're only going after the darkest 25%, and I could increase that without dramatically impacting the skin tones, just brightening the background a bit. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and pull the highlights down a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and adjust the width for those as well, so it's only the brightest area like the shirt. If necessary, you could adjust the radius so it's a little more tolerant, and let's just toggle that off and on so you see the big change that's happening. That's looking pretty good. You'll want to put a little bit of contrast back in the midtones so that the areas don't wash out. I'll twirl that down here, just roll that up a bit, and also put in a little bit more color correction so the skin tones hold up. Now, if at any point in time you want to blend it back because it went too far, you could use Blend with Original, and sometimes a subtle blend will just back it off far enough that it still looks improved without being overdone. When you think you've got it, I recommend you go up to the top and you just toggle that off and on to check the before and after state, but I must say that's definitely an improvement. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Video Adrenaline for Premiere Pro. My name is Rich Harrington, and I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net where you'll find all sorts of great resources there. Tutorials, video tips, magazine articles, and of course, our great forums. Thanks for joining us.